So what we want to do today is a quick demonstration on how to assemble your Eco Harrow when you receive it. <clears throat> uh, due to the fact that we've got uh, the original Eco Harrow and the new Eco Harrow coming to circulation soon, I'm going to cover bits of both. So to start with, you'll get your Eco Harrow in a box, um, as of you still already assembled, but with what we've got here, I believe you can see more or less what needs to be done. So firstly, you will have your your mainframe bolted together. Then you'll have these two sections separately. They'll be bolt supplied, and with them bolts, you want to put them in here first. So you'll bolt from outside in with the nut on the inside. You'll do all four of them, and then if you have the wheel on it, the wheel will need to go on first. So it just slips through each of these holes depending on which one you want, um, which height you want. If you have the new one, that'll bolt on later on. Okay, so once you've got the base frame basically bolted together, you'll want to turn that over and you'll want to bolt on the tines. So these tines will have one big washer and one bolt in the bottom here. What you'll need to do is um, simply install it on. It'll be fairly firm, which is what it should be. Um, to start with, it'll loosen up as time goes. You'll, you'll place a tine over there and now screw that nut up tight. You want it to be firm so it doesn't come undone. But you don't want to be too tight to snap the nut. So there are your M6 uh, bolts with the large washers. Now this whole part here will be assembled together. What you want to do is install your handle. So with the original handle, you will have a saucepan-like configuration. Yours will possibly be welded in here as opposed to bolted, so that'll come as one piece already. And what you'll need to do is firstly, install your M10 nut, your long M10 nut uh, bolt with a nut on it into your into your mainframe and then your hand knob you can then select whichever hole you want to put it into. You can tighten that up then and then your handle will be in place. Now for finishing your handle you'll need to put this narrower tube inside the thicker tube up the top. The the tube should slide in and then the hand knob will tighten up and that'll hold that in place. If you've got the newer one, you'll have a square tube here as opposed to the round and it'll most likely come in two pieces just for postage. So what you want to do with that is once you have your handle, you'll either have, again, the old type which will be, will be a string and that there will simply feed through the center of this tube which with these slots. It'll feed right through, right through the center And once it comes out the other side, it'll stick into that V. You see the V there? Just pull that tight and that'll stop it from coming out again. So then you can stick the rest of it, you can stick this through the top pipe and you'll have your handle, the hand piece here. Um, you'll have your rope here to tie onto your drill. Now this is my Milwaukee drill. Um, once you have that all together, lastly you'll have to install your drill onto your Eco Harrow. So that's very straightforward. So you can see there's like three keys cut in the chat in the in the bar protruding out of the top of the main frame. That there's for your chuck to grab onto tight. Once that's on there, you'll want to do a knot in your rope. So just do a loop and then do a granny's knot. So you have a loop with a knot. What you want to do then is strangle itself, so pull it through itself and you want to feed that over the top of your drill or your battery side depending if you have it on yet. Now what will happen is as you pull this, it will pull the trigger. Now that is for the people who have the string one. Um, if you've got the new one or if you want to buy the new handle, um, you can buy it as an additional extra. It's like a bike. So. It'll come in your package, package like so. So it'll have it pre installed. The, the bolting bracket for your drill, so that'll bolt into any drill. The Velcro simply goes around the back um, and you'll have this handle. Now this hand piece will need to go onto your bar. It's the exact same size bar, but it'll slip over the top and you'll need to tighten that bolt up in there 
that'll be an allen key and then with the drill you'll need to put the velcro around the front of it and pull it tight so that it doesn't move and then you will need to put the wire rope around the front here so that's a wing nut so you can undo it with your hands so there's a, there's a hole and then you can tighten the nut back up and then as you pull the handle the wire gets smaller and activates the the trigger like so we have moved this style of handle primarily so that you can get more accurate trigger control on your speed so you can notice Very accurate. So one thing we need to keep an eye on, um, very important, is maintenance of our machines. So all the nuts and bolts, you just need to make sure that they keep tight. Uh, they may rattle loose because there's a lot of movement going on when you when you're doing your thing here. Uh, other thing is you need to make sure you grease it. So when we grease it, you remove your hand knob, so you unscrew that. You'll get your grease gun, and you want to pump. I usually pump three or four, two, three, four, and the grease into there. And then you want to get your hand knob and stick that back in there like so and that'll inject the grease into the gears and then next time you run it it'll run around all the gears so you want to do that every hour for the first 10 hours then every two or three hours from then onwards um, just keep an eye on it you want to make sure that's well lubricated you keep your maintenance up to date and you'll be happy days